what's up guys shifty here and welcome to my first Star Wars The Old Republic video so gonna be plenty more coming in this series just the uh, mess around with it and uh, this is shifty when he was level 9 I think getting my quest at the end of uh, this quest chain to make my lightsaber craft my lightsaber and uh, you come to this little temple or shrine and uh, you save your master actually from a Sith and uh, he gives you what you need to make your first lightsaber and you gotta come here and click on this little table and there's some dialogue and stuff now I'm gonna go into some of the uh, differences here in the two, in the games coming from World of Warcraft first off everything is cutscenes here like you'll see like when you go into to get a quest or talk to a quest giver interact with a lot of things or enter certain areas quest areas it'll go into a cutscene and uh, I really like this part of Star Wars or Republic this is something I wish that uh, WoW would incorporate in their questing uh, because right now questing a WoW is pretty freaking boring and I actually try to avoid it at all cost and this is actually fun and you'll see here you get a lot of quests you get choices like three different choices how you can respond and that determines several different things. It'll determine affection with your, your with your companions, your crew members that you have with you, like my T7 pet there. And uh, also, there's a scale, like a light side and dark side scale, and it'll determine on whether you go up the light, down the path of the light, or down the path of the dark side. So, that's something else that I would like to see. Wow, that they can incorporate, like a. Uh, choices you make can maybe make you stronger with the alliance or with a horde and maybe like a horde player if they were all the way strong with the alliance side could go into alliance cities and be shunned from horde cities or something like that ah! oh hell my lightsaber so he <clears throat> made my lightsaber and this guardian boss mob comes to attack me at first when I was doing this cutscene I was like what is this lizard guy what's he had to do with me making my lightsaber but it's kind of like the last trial you've got to go past to get your lightsaber. He comes out and attacks. But he gives you, he just sits down there, so you've got time to equip your lightsaber and do whatever you got to do. And T7, is, like I said, your companions will help you. Uh, and you can see there he's a gold mob. Uh, he's a boss, I guess what would be considered a boss mob. Uh, they've also got silver mobs, which would be like elites, and then regular mobs. T7 is actually supposed to be a tanking pet because uh, he runs out there and gets aggro, but he is not very uh, doesn't live very long. And this boss does stuns there, and I actually bound my CC but uh, trinket or whatever to the backslash key, which I guess is like the report problems default button, and so it took me out of that screen. It took me out of the main screen. So I just had to sit here and sit through his stuns, or manually hit the button, I guess. But T7 bites the big one. Um, I pop my cooldowns, my shield here in a second. But uh, anyways, I finished this guy off, not much problem. And uh, level nine now. You'll leave this planet, like I said, after uh, I'll follow up here with like the my meeting with the Jedi Council after I get back and. Uh, the Jedi Temple, and then you uh, get off this planet, you go to the next planet, or you go to the fleet, and at level 10, you uh, get to pick which path you want to go down as a Jedi Knight, either a Sentinel, which is DPS, or Guardian, which is tank spec. I went Sentinel, so there'll be videos of Sentinel footage, is what I'll be mainly showing uh, for my Star Wars footage, but uh, so dual wielding lightsabers, just seemed uh, a lot cooler than tanking but I actually fought back and forth on which side I wanted to go if I wanted to go Guardian or Sentinel and because uh, I tank on most MMOs I tank but a buddy of mine Shads is uh, and uh, I got a couple friends playing I was playing together he went Guardian so I went DPS and uh, so here's what I was talking about where you got options on how you answer uh, 
the enemy found and it's funny because this one Jedi Master, she's like pocket sized, so it keeps showing the back of the chair. <laughs> And I was like, what? Is, is it glitching out or what's going on here? But she's just like sitting, she's underneath the table. I don't know, it's kind of funny. And like they're just trolling and showing the back of the chair. But, see, when you get quests, like I said, it goes into like a story mode here and uh, cinematics. And so you can choose the one dark side or the light side. Uh, according to how you answer and it raises your reputation either way so you can be a Jedi and go dark side and get start wielding red lightsabers or whatever and uh, be what they call a gray Jedi uh, but uh, there was one quest at the beginning if you guys do this if you guys play a Jedi Knight and you play this quest there's a quest during the starting on the starting planet um, where a couple of Jedi Masters ask you to spy on their Padawans because they think they're in love with each other and uh, you do, you go and spy on them and it's, you have a choice on how you report back to the uh, Masters and uh, I chose to rat them out and right after I did I was like I wish I wouldn't have done that because they actually they reward you with like a crystal for your lightsaber if you lie um, let me know if you guys have done this quest chain. Let me know what you guys did on that quest with the two, two Padawans, whatever that were in love. Did you rat them out or did you lie for them? But uh, you seen there that T7 or your pet gets you get like reputation with your pets or affection with your pets according to how you answer too. So how you answer these quests affects the gameplay in several different ways. The security of the entire republic is at stake. But uh, I also like the questing the arm in the uh, there's the Jedi Master a little pocket size. I also like the way they do the um, skills in this game or your professions. Uh, your pets actually do those for you. You send them off to do them so you don't actually have to do all that busy work. You can like eventually like right now I've got three pets so I can send two of them out. There are two crew members, what they're called. I can send two of them out to do my professions for me while I have another one fighting with me. So, I like the way they did that. But uh, that's, a, that's another thing that I like about this game. Um, I'm hoping that they'll make it to where you can do macros soon because I'm already got a ton of abilities and. I'm running out of keys to keybind them too, so I'm hoping that they come out with the ability to do macros. Now I leveled a ding, level 10 there, it's kind of what it looks like when you level up. So I gotta go see my trainer and get my new abilities. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna leave it off, there'll be plenty more coming and plenty more other gameplay footage coming out this week. So until next time guys.